When a crook is sent to prison, we tend to think he or she is no longer a threat to those of us on the outside. Yeah, but it turns out many convicts can still reach out and touch you with a cell phone. Tulsa Channel 8 has been looking at how thousands of phones get smuggled into Oklahoma prisons every year. Just imagine the criminal who victimized you can now call you or his criminal buddies. Channel 8 investigative reporter Maureen Wartz is here to tell us more about this mess. And Maureen, why can't the prison stop this? It's not so easy. There are all kinds of ways to smuggle things to the inmates, and cell phones are among the most valuable. The Dick Connor Correctional Facility in Hominy is surrounded by acres of empty land. But prisoners here are anything but cut off. Talk about your cell phones. Just about any inmate with money who wants one can get one. It's an ongoing deal. I mean, it gets nerve wracking sometimes. Like, you know, is it ever going to end? Corrections officer Sean Price and his fellow officers found 750 illegal phones last year. Statewide, the number of illegal phones behind bars jumps to around 4,000. And prison officials admit that's just the ones they know about. And the rule of thumb is you're usually getting maybe 10, 15 percent of what's coming in. One of the ways they're getting cell phones inside is through this football, where they'll stuff 15 to 20 cell phones in there and throw it over the fence. Once it gets in here, this is what it looks like. Now, corrections officials tell us that this is just three drops, but last year alone, counting just tobacco and cell phones, they collected half a million dollars worth of contraband. Most usually it'll be in a camouflage or maybe black. Price says his officers have found phones stuffed in tires on a trailer, wrapped in grass, lying in a ditch, or packages in the mail. Nationally, prison guards have been caught bringing in cell phones. So at what point did you realize that cell phones were going to be such a big problem? But Warden Janet Dowling says not here in Oklahoma. It puts everyone here at risk when you have staff that are willing to compromise uh, law a state law to do those types of things. It puts all of our safety at risk. With so many illegal cell phones in use, why not just jam the signal? Well, that's illegal. So to try and stop the problem, prison officials have turned to the canine program. So all of these, like, so would Riley would be able to detect any type of cell phone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we've done the smartphones, flip phones, uh, Blackberry style. Um, with, without batteries, with, without SIM cards. Riley is a rescue dog and unique. Good boy. He's the only cell phone dog that's been certified by the National Police Canine Association. Is there something there? Is there something there, buddy? Good boy. Good boy. When Riley and his handler, Derek Anderson, hit the block, look, look. they're ready for work. He's, he's a nightmare for inmates um, they don't really know exactly what it is he's smelling so they try and mask the odor with spices wrapping up the cell phone and cellophane different things Good boy. Riley has found about a hundred phones in prisons but still it's a game that the DOC is playing against inmates and losing yeah, you get the alert where you search and nothing's there but it, it's the leftover odor and you're close, but you're just literally one minute, two minute, ten minutes behind it. So you got old phones, but you also got some some smartphones as well. Well, you got to have a price range. Some guys can't afford the nice phones. <laughs> Back in Hominy, Price and his correctional officers will stay busy because a cell phone in the prison yard is worth four to five times more than what we pay. But as long as as long as there's money to be made in it, they're going to keep doing it. So you can't jam the illegal phones without jamming every cell phone in the prison. And besides that, it's against federal law. So it's definitely a tricky situation. And it's pretty much up to Riley and the guards to sniff out those illegal phones and confiscate them. So I'm not going to ask you how they're bringing them in, but I'm going to ask you some of the places where Riley has discovered those phones. Well, Riley has actually found phones in um, ceilings before, then also in pipes as well. So that dog is amazing. And I kept on wow. asking them. How does he find these cell phones? They're like, he just smells cell phones. Wow. So, very, yeah. very interesting. A dog that answers the call to duty, literally, right? <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Oh, that was good. All right, good story. Thanks, Marie. Thank you.